Hey crafters, I wanted to share this little project I've been working on for over a year. It's this little pine needle basket. And unfortunately, I lost some of my footage, so instead of a longer documentation of me creating this project, it's going to be a short and sweet video covering the highlights and what I discovered when working on this project. So last summer, I stumbled across a video by a channel called Wild She Goes, and it's this beautifully filmed tutorial for making a basket out of pine needles. Be sure to check out that video for the full tutorial and I've linked that in the description. After gathering and prepping my pine needles, I started to sew my little basket. I think that starting the bottom of the basket is the second hardest part of the entire process with the lid handle being the most challenging part. My basket definitely ended up a little more oval than round and my stitches weren't particularly even, but it was neat seeing the basket start to take shape. I also discovered it took a lot more pine needles than I expected, and part of that is because I pulled the cap off the end of the needle clusters, and sometimes when I did that, the needles separated. So when that was the case, I didn't use those needles because it was too challenging to feed a single pine needle through the straw gauge. So that got rid of a chunk of the pine needles that I gathered, but even so, what I ended up using was a good bit of pine needles. Another thing that surprised me with this project is how challenging it could be to get the metal sewing needle through the pine needle bundle. Because the pine needles were damp, they were pliable and soft, so naturally I expected it wouldn't be too bad to sew the stitches. But I found it was a bit tricky at times, and I even enlisted the help of a thimble to save my poor little fingers. But with time, the stitching got a bit easier. What I discovered overall with this project is that it's actually pretty simple to make a pine needle basket, but fairly difficult to make a pine needle basket well. The process itself is straightforward. Bundle pine needles together, stitch around in a circle. But making the stitches even, keeping the pine needle bundle the same size, putting the same amount of tension on each stitch, all these things play into the final results and they take a bit more time and practice to develop than this one basket required of me. Unfortunately, my first attempt at this basket did not go very well. I have seasonal allergies, which where I live basically means if it's a season, I'm having problems with my allergies. And these pine needles were no exception and it quickly became difficult to work on this project inside. So I set the project aside for a few days until the weather was nice enough that I could work on it outside, but I forgot to put it in the fridge. When I came back, my basket had molded and my metal sewing needle had started to rust. So I tossed that first basket and decided to wait until the weather was better and I could work on it outside. So that brings us to a few weeks ago when I restarted this project. I boiled some water, pulled it over the dry needles, and got to work on a new basket. At this point, I decided to go a bit smaller with my basket because the first one I spent a lot of time on, but even so, this basket took me five hours across three days to complete the basket and the lid. I also decided I wanted my basket to have handles, which I probably should have spent like five minutes googling how to do that, but since I'm a DIYer, I just made it up. I wrapped around a section like I did at the start of the basket, curved it outward, and tacked it down a few stitches over. They're not the best handles, but they didn't turn out too shabby. Once the basket itself was finished, I made the lid. The handle for the lid is by far the most challenging part of this project, and I think this is also where I got my one and only injury during the project when I poked my finger with the sewing needle. But don't worry guys, I survived my injury and was able to finish up the lid. You also might notice I went for a different lid style than in the tutorial. I partly forgot to make the basket so the lid would rest inside, and I partly wasn't a big fan of that look and wanted to do something different anyways. So I ended up making a circle that was one round wider than my basket, and then I went around vertically, and that created an outer edge of the lid that sits outside the basket, or it sort of does anyways. The basket and lid both ended up more oval than round, so the fit's a little iffy. But once the basket and lid were completely sewn, I burned off the little tails of thread and set them in the sun to dry completely. And here is how my basket turned out. Definitely not the best pine needle basket out there, but I gotta say not too bad either for my first pine needle basket. Also, my stitches are very inconsistent, so it's not the sturdiest either, but at least I can now check creating a pine needle basket off my endless list of crafts I want to try. I'd love to hear if you try making your own pine needle basket, so be sure to tag me on Instagram if you do so I can see your amazing creations. Y'all are seriously so talented and I love seeing what you guys make. And of course, if you have any questions about the process, I would definitely go check out the tutorial from Wild She Goes. It covers basically everything you need to know to get started, as well as pointers and tips along the way, and it's just a beautifully filmed video to watch. But anyways, thanks for watching my attempt to make a pine needle basket and happy crafting!